Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start part 12 of Over the Rhine with Adobe Flex. And we're going to show you how to put a toggle menu system into a, an application control bar, and how to load an image into Adobe Flex. So let's start with the application control bar. We're going to go to uh, our components menu and pull out an application control bar on the screen. Now you need to be in the base state. If you're not, it'll only show in the state that you put it in. So let's drag that to the screen. And now we're going to simply just drag our toggle menu into that control bar. And you can see it's nicely anchored now. And I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. And I can actually make my control bar just a little smaller. Okay, and let's run that and see what it looks like. And there it is, my toggle menu is now sitting in an application control bar. Now in this next part, we're going to add an image to our reading room. So if I click on reading, I'm in that state right there. And I'm going to exchange this canvas with an image that I've pulled from SketchUp. So in a previous tutorial, let me bring that up. Of course, you know where I am on YouTube. It's Mike NKU if you're watching this through YouTube. Uh, I've created a video there called SketchUp and Google 3D Warehouse Tutorial, and that's the YouTube address directly to that um, tutorial. Otherwise, you can go to YouTube and just select, uh, through my many tutorials, select uh, SketchUp and Google 3D Warehouse Tutorial. And that will show you how to go into SketchUp, how to use the 3D Warehouse, and how to grab images to bring into applications like Flex, for example. And we've already done that, and we've put that JPEG in the uh, Flex folder. So we're actually going to just, this will actually be a very simple process where we bring on an image component and we put that image into that component. So we have this canvas right here. There's two ways to do this. I could go to design, I could go to source view and just rename this as an image or I can just delete this from the design view and use an image container. So let's go ahead and delete it from design view, delete and drag out an image container. It's much easier this way. There we go. And we're going to go over here to Flex Properties and navigate to the image that we've brought in through the 3D Warehouse and put that into this image container. So let me stretch this out a little bit. Let's go to Flex Properties. And in under source, there's a folder. Just click on the folder. Here's the file application, and I go to my SRC folder. Then click on images. And there's my JPEG which is called Reading Room. Now I could hit Thumbnails. Let's do that. And I can actually look for it through Thumbnails. So we can come down here and look for Reading Room. And there's my Reading Room. So let's click on that. So when it comes to my application, I'm going to double click and expand this a little bit and do a little work on this image. Double click and expand. Let's stretch this out. Now in some future tutorials, we're going to show you how to come in here and make hotspots in Flex and turn this into an interactive image. But for now, let's control test this or run this and see what we have. Here's our application with our community portal. And below that, of course, is the uh, image gallery. And then if you go along here to our wiki, still nothing there, blog, nothing community nothing but there's our reading image and we will be working with making this an interactive image you notice there was a little bit of lag here you can actually embed that image and it will come up right away and we're going to show you how to do that so we noticed that that library image came up a little bit slow and we wanted to come up automatically with the application so one of the commands we can use is embed so let's click on the image 
and go to source and there's the source code for our image and the source is loading the image from the images folder forward slash reading room let's embed that image so we'll put in an at symbol capital E M B E D for embed put a parenthesis and a single quote come to the end of your image and put another single quote and a parenthesis now the difference between embedding and not embedding is that when you embed the image is actually included in the SWF so the SWF actually runs a little larger and, is, and the image is not pulled in externally so there's a trade-off between embedding and speed in this particular case the image is not that large so we'll go ahead and embed it so you have a better user experience when you click on the image let's run that and see how it looks and now when we click on reading room we see the image comes up instantaneously and there's no longer a lag so that's it for this part uh... in the next section we're going to show you how to deploy and upload this application to the web